Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues. Friendship 7 awaits its pilot. And the pilot has waited three years for this day. Three long, arduous years of study, of training, of waiting. And now he's ready. His name is John Glenn. Astronaut John Glenn of New Concord, Ohio. Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps. Married, father of two teenage children. Glenn has been a pilot over half of his 40 years, has flown in two wars, and is a veteran test pilot who five years earlier established a transcontinental flight record as the first man to average supersonic speeds across America. He volunteered for space flight, is one of seven astronauts selected for Project Mercury, the man and space program directed by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. John Glenn now belongs an awesome panorama. The world curving beneath him, just as it was filmed from an earlier Mercury capsule. And I could see the booster during turnaround just a couple of hundred yards behind me. It was beautiful. Home is the Voyager. Behind, a journey of 81,000 miles. Through three days and three nights, in just four hours and 56 minutes. At 3.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friendship 7 comes to rest aboard the United States destroyer, Noah, and John Glenn returns to the people of Earth. A change of clothes, a breath of cool air, a short debriefing. Then, Glenn leaves the Noah heading for the aircraft carrier Randolph under the golden splendor of his fourth sunset of the day.